Uh, in our last lesson, we worked on uh, Chosen. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to use uh, a What You See Is What You Get editor uh, called Summer Note. So if you come on to summernote.org and get uh, hit this button here, and we are going to save that into our vendor folder. And once we've done that, go into your vendor folder and delete uh, the zipped file after you've unzipped it first. Okay, so um, just above our default CSS, um, I'm going to add uh, summer note uh, in here. There's a CSS we need. So I usually add all the CSS above my own CSS so that way I can override um, any CSS if I wish to. Okay, so that's done. And Summer Note also has uh, a JavaScript, which we need. So I'm going to do the same as what we did before here. So go into Vendor and go into Summer Note Master Distribution and Summer Note dot minified. JavaScript. Okay, and now we can reset the page and we can see nothing has happened. Uh, double check our console, there are no error messages, so we, we haven't done anything wrong, so we, it must be a configuration issue. So if we go up onto our text area, there is a class we need to put in there, uh, summer notes. Is required so reset the page uh, not quite there yet and some more configuration so if we come down here just as we did uh, for our select we need to set some default configuration files okay which summer uh relies on okay so so target our summer note class and we want to call this uh, summer note method on it. Um, we'll set the height to 200. So let's see what happens now. Boom, it's working. So it's getting there. It's not quite there yet. So if I get rid of this height and save this and run it, you will see it's still there. So this is the minimum setting required to show you uh, something. So to get this all working properly, we need uh, a plugin, another plugin uh, called Font Awesome. So go into this URL here and hit the download button and save that into our vendor folder. Okay, unzip it as usual and uh, get rid of the zip version. So we just have what we need there. Okay. Okay, so another uh, plugin I'm used here, so we need to uh, attach its CSS as usual. So this is really good. Um, I'm adding this above our summer note. So we are using uh, other people's hard work to speed up our own work. So this is what the community uh, spirit is about. <laughs> so it's good. So if I go into the CSS folder and have font awesome, that minified CSS. Okay, so this is good. We've got that going on there. So if we go into our project and reset the page, and we can see our page is looking very good. So Font Awesome has kicked in, has given us all the icons we need. We can write, we can make things bold, we can make things underlined. So you're pretty much used to this sort of stuff from your emails. There's a few more settings that I would like to do. Oh, well, um, CSS override. So if I go into our node, editable which is a class uh, from our editor I'll set the background color to white so that's what I needed to do to get the background color to look more like the one we are uh, duplicating so it looks pretty much identical to me I th I would say we've done very very well we've learned a few things uh, in this lesson uh, in the next lesson we are going to work on uh, listing all our articles um, in this lesson, we've learned um, chosen, we've used 
uh, summer notes. So you feel free to revise this until it sort of becomes second nature to you. Um, this is where this lesson will end and I'll see you in the next lesson.